to begin we're going to start using canva we're going to change pixels to inches and we're going to make width and height both four by four we're going to go to elements well actually i'm going to go to text and i'm going to add in some um some key points just to let you know uh what colors are what i believe i did a jar wick and wick tab in different colors okay so now that my uh, few words are finished I'm going to put a circle icon and change the color to black and as you can see I'm moving the icon to make this circle around 3.8 inches and I'm doing this because this is our wicking template and with a wicking template we're going to make it uh, a bit bigger than the actual size of my jar and my jar size is 3.75 so I made this a 3.8 template and as you can see I'm moving the words around and the color that I make the words is what the uh, element that I make and here you can see it says uh, 20 mm for uh, the wick tab size and you need to know this uh, to make the to translate the size over the camera and as you can see 20 um millimeters turns into i believe it said 0.8 inches so we're going to make this white circle uh 0.8 inches and as you will see as we uh and this will be our uh wicks themselves well actually the wick tab that you will stick to the bottom of your jar and i'm going to make two of these because my vessel uh is big enough to where i need to have uh it needs to be double wicked it needs to have two wicks and as you can see i changed the um the color of my wick tabs so i can um make the wick tab color green because i couldn't make it white as you see i had it had it as before now we're going to make another circle and this one is going to be our actual wick um and that i made red and you'll see i made the word red so we're going to copy and paste these things and I'm going to group these together. So this green and that red I'm going to group and, you know, the same thing for that. Now we're going to put a line here. So this line is how we are going to measure the distance of the actual wicks. I was confused when I tried this at first, but, uh, you know, thank God I learned that uh, it is the actual distance of the wicks that need to be inch apart and not the wick tabs. Since Canva does not have grid lines, what you can do is use other elements like I did with that line and make that line about an inch. Now you can see that my wicks are one inch apart. And as you can already see, I have go ahead and duplicated the page and I'm doing it once again. And I'm just going to show you an example of a three wick uh, template. So I just uh, did the exact same thing, but this time I made the black circle uh, instead of 3.75 inches. I made it the full four, you know, because we're going to uh, translate this to a four inch jar. And with this being a four inch jar, as I said, this will be using, you know, for example, three wicks just to give you uh, that example as well. And with a three uh, wick jar, this may be a bit more difficult. As you can see, it was pretty hard to line um, everything up. And also, you know, something that I didn't mention earlier is that um, you want to make sure you line, including your uh, your black um, circle, which is your um candle jar you want to make you see those little red lines that pop up and you want to make sure everything is centered so uh with this line right here this was this is what makes um a three jar uh, wicking template a bit difficult is the fact that you have to you know make tr a triangle basically as you can see you know um it is it is a bit difficult with the angle and then trying to get all three pieces in the middle of the whole um black itself and then being able to translate this line to where it's a good you know one inch apart you see how that white is overlapping in that red and i really don't want that so yeah you're going to see me um tinkering with that a bit and this is where i learned also that my circle was not in the center and honestly, an uh, easier way to do this that I just now realized is that instead of, you know, copy and pasting the white lines, I could have just um, grabbed a triangle element from the elements toolbox. And, you know, grabbing the triangle, you know, just shape, just measure it into the one inch triangle 
um, put it in the middle of the circle and then um, put my wick and wick tabs and measure it that way. That would have been the easier way to do that. And after deleting the lines, you can see that, you know, it looks much better now. I have everything in its correct frame. And hopefully this was informative and you understood everything. Um, if not, you know, please uh, ask any questions below and I'll try my best to answer them. Um, and, you know, excuse any imperfections on this voiceover. I tried something new, you know, so I will most definitely be working on my voiceover skills. But for now, thank you for watching and hopefully you find this informative.